open the gate. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> Damn it, Danny. Open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've made? Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for.
Officer? Head on inside. Hey, sweetie. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. What's the Institute do that's got everyone so scared? You mean besides making the synths and using them to replace people? Or that they live in the shadows and no one knows how to get to them? Everyone in town is afraid of being replaced, or that someone they know isn't human anymore. So don't expect people around here to jump up and down looking to help you out. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Piper, you're back! Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. Can you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way? Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but 
he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. <laughs> Don't play games with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry.